The first major attempt at a Bill of Rights came in 1960 under Prime Minister John Diefenbaker's Conservative government. A decade earlier, Diefenbaker had given a speech on the need for a Bill of Rights to take a, quote, forthright stand against discrimination based on color, creed, or racial origin. While the bill was well-intentioned, Canada didn't have power over its own constitution yet, which was a British Act of Parliament. So all the federal government could do, without a lot of provincial support, was pass a federal act called the Canadian Bill of Rights. This had no impact on provincial governments, and as a regular law, it was largely up to the federal parliament to revise earlier laws to conform to it, and theoretically any future federal government could just unilaterally alter it as well. Even Diefenbaker said the lack of provincial support for the actual constitutional changes meant the bill had limited practical impact, but it still helped set the stage for bigger movements later. The 1960 Bill of Rights is technically still in place today, though it has largely been superseded by the inclusion of the Charter of Rights and Freedoms in the 1982 Repatriation of the Constitution Act, which gives it proper precedence and protection from federal and provincial laws. 